My name is Nicole with so much more. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a pleated face mask with a flexible nose wire and filter pocket. We'll be using measurements, which are available on my website. This is linked in the description just below this video. While you're watching, if you see something that you like, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Head over to my website and grab your materials and let's get started. I'll be using this serger to clean up the short edges of my face mask. If you don't have a serger, you can also simply hem the edge of the mask. I think that using this serger is a quick way to take care of those edges, especially if you're making multiple masks. I'll just be surging both short edges of the face mask. looks good perfect tension and the stitch is real nice so what we'll do next is we'll make our channel for our flexible nose wire I'll be using a friction pin and a little ruler to make my marks for my sewing lines. I'll be coming one and a half inches from each side. So I'll just make little marks. What I like about this pin is when you press it, the ink disappears. So I'll just be using a regular straight stitch. My stitch length is, I think it's at two and a half, two, something like that. I'll be doing a back stitch at the end and then again, right up to my line. I'll move everything down to the second line and I'll do the same thing again. I'm using a one half inch seam allowance. I'll go back to my little wool pressing mat and open that up, fold it back to where my stitching line was. And I'll do that on both sides. Then I'll turn the mask right side out. The opening will be about one inch from the top of the fold. And we'll just press that. See, there's my opening right there. Now we'll go to the sewing machine and sew that casing closed.
There's that opening right there. I'll be one eighth of an inch seam allowance from that seam right there. Just a straight stitch all along that flexible nose wire casing. Back stitching at the front and the beginning. Just to show you that, that's stitched down and there's my filter pocket. We're going to be using the pleater board and this is going to really speed up the process of making the pleats. I have a separate video showing how to make this pleater board. If you're going to be making several of these masks, it doesn't take much time to make one of these boards. I highly recommend it. So we'll just put clips on both sides to secure those pleats. We'll just pull that right out of the pleater board and we have really great pleats. These images are just to show you how to make the fabric ties. I have another video on my channel that shows you how to make a lanyard tape and it's a similar, it's a similar idea. So I have a full length of Tape, and we're going to situate the face mask in the middle of each side. Now I did want to let you know that I have already encased the nose wire in this. Now this machine that I'm using is my Industrial Juki DU1181N. It's just a really fancy industrial machine. You certainly don't need a machine like this to make this mask. You can just use your domestic. Uh, but because I make so many of these masks, I find it very convenient. And you can learn more about my industrial sewing machine. I have an entire series dedicated to this machine. So we're just capturing the mask inside of the fabric strips. It's encasing all of the raw edges on both sides of the mask. And this is a walking foot sewing machine. And once you're done with that final strap, that's all you have to do. This is a really easy sew. I like this design. The Flexible nose wire and filter pocket are a great addition. There's all sorts of things you can add inside of that filter pocket. The nose wire that I'm using is a floral wire. There's all sorts of different things you can use. You can use a metal support, a pipe cleaner, all sorts of ideas. Turned out pretty good. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video tutorial, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you sign up for notifications, you'll be the first to know about my next video. And if you want more DIY, go to the link in the description and sign up for my weekly newsletter. Each week I send you inspiration directly to your inbox. 
For more tutorials, head over to my website and Facebook group where there is always so much more in store.